Yo, what is up, everyone? Kirby Very 25 here, and welcome to Riddle Transfer. Boy, it has been a little while. I'm turning this down. <laughs> Do you remember when my old channel was in existence, I played this game? That was old, and I started this around the time I started my first FNAF World series, which was over two years ago. In fact, it might be three years ago at this point. But yeah, let's get back into it. I wanted another video on this game. Because what I remember, it's awesome. I haven't seen anything on the game since I did the video on it. Which is kind of sad, but mm, what do you do? Also, I'm sorry for the resolution. I can't do anything about it. Diz. Stereotypical alien. Well, now that your, your world is saved and our sadistic leader Viz has gone from the universe, what do you all plan to accomplish when you return to your life on Earth? Zack. Human fireplace. Uh, personally, I plan to find a cure for this fever I've developed. Drinking a couple thousand gallons of ice water might help a little. Smiley, eager scholar. I'll continue my search for knowledge and use what I know to help others. Reading the encyclopedia might be fun. I've been to school, it isn't. Spoiler. Fred, helping hand. I haven't really thought about what I'll do when I get back. I guess of what I'll do when I get back is think of what I'll do when I get back. Phil, stalwart leader. As for me... Ooh. Something is controlling the ship. Wasn't it like the FBI or something? It's taking us off course. That's not what that looks like, but alright. Why is the game lagging all of a sudden? This weird energy beam. Yeah. Maybe not FBI, maybe like, just Area 51 people or something. I guess that's FBI. Those don't look like normal guns. Oh, uh, taking him in a cage because he's Bernie. He would melt the handcuffs. Can I throw a monkey at you? I was hoping for a new beginning. I just didn't think it would look like this. Riddle transfer. Yeah, this is how the resolution of the game looks. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, we're back. Uh, um, I decided to try the game at 60 frames, so the game is running at 60 frames now. I just wanted to see if it would look, if it would run, and it seems to be. We're only using 30% CPU, so we should be fine. Fill egg tree, IFO landing. I can't see the label above that door from here, therefore I don't know what exists. Sure. 78255. Oh, I can't reach it. Cool. This vent has nothing in it? Preposterous. Usually there's a roll of toilet paper or a rubber band or something. A poster that says, can I throw a monkey at you? Sure, as long as it means the monkey doesn't throw anything at me. Oh, I can do the toilet too, flush it. It's a flusher! I don't think this toy has been flushed in a while. Bleh. This graffiti matches my thoughts at the moment. Ravishing decor. I'm gonna steal this from the can, cause I can. Can I reach the thing? Ah. I'm start- I'm slowly starting to remember how this worked. I don't remember all of it, but I'm slowly starting to remember how it worked. Boom. Again, I'm sorry for the resolution, I can't fix it. That's just how this player is working. Because this was initially Flash, and in order to even play this at all, I had to get the Newgrounds player, so I'm using this on Newgrounds player, and this is the best I can get it, so I'm sorry. Ooh. Elevator key. 
My lips are so chap. Hi. Oh yeah, the creature communicator. I remember this. Alright. Hey, you go, guy. Hello, what's up? Uh, why is there man at the end of your name? No idea. I'm really just a goat. I was having the time of my life eating grass and strange mushrooms. Then I was taken away, mistaken for a mythical creature. So you were kidnapped? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I can't open my mouth because my lips are crusted together at this point. I hate puns. How are you today? What's that random looking pipe thing on the ceiling? I don't know, but occasionally soda cans and cereal boxes fall off it. That's really random. Are the cans and boxes empty? Every time. Always disappointing. Do you have a brother named Billy? I hate puns. Why do you have a smoke detector? The smoke detector's there so I can be spared if the grass starts burning. I really care more about the grass than I care about myself, though. That's probably not a good sign, but whatever. No way out. That looks like a really bad omen. I hope it's for the goat and not for me. Impressive. Most of the days since I was action encounters, I see you're dangling from wires on the wall. I wonder why there's a hyphen in the name Goatman. Makes it look like a new Grounds username, but that would be absurd. Oh, yeah, I just went back in here. Today is Zone 5.1 Guard Agent's annual day off. That was lucky. Uh, put the key in. Uh, let's, we're on F2s, let's just bleh, go up. I read a re really weird poem once that had to do with puppies melting from the heat of the sun. It was called the Hot Dogs. Puns. Oh, this is, oh yeah, this is where that pipe goes. I forgot about that. I saw someone once- I got- I, bleh, bleh. I saw someone get their hand stuck in a toaster once, then I saw ten fire engines in a police car. Pin the tail on the dodecahedron. From the creator of the spherical stone at dartboard, ranked number one party item of the year. I remember one time I was sitting in, I think, seventh grade, it was math class, and just as an extra credit question, the teacher asked if anybody knew what a 12-sided die was called. And I, I was the only one who knew, and everyone was like, no. And I raised my hand, and he's like, yeah. And I said, it's called a dodecahedron. And he's like, that's right. And everyone's looking back, staring at me like, how do you know that? Fine lounge? That looks like a waste of money. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, there's some back in here. What creature's in here? Oh, yeah, the pig. Hey, pig. Oh, hello. It's shaking bacon. Right now, I'm as free as a bird in a birdcage. Pig, I think you and I would probably make really good friends. Don't you think you can squeeze through those bars? I've tried. And? I'm too fat. Oh. Some- some- Some that say pork is the meat of kings. Hogwash. How were you captured? I was half asleep sitting just outside this building and some guy carried me inside. Then he locked me up here and made me eat like a pig. That's a pretty pathetic way to be captured. How exactly do you eat like a pig? I know my etiquette, but the guy didn't offer me silverware or even a napkin. I used my feet. Sure, it was fun, but not exactly clean. Communicate with you later. Hey, this is Zach. Hi, Zach. Meh. How are you today? I'm a little tied up at the moment, not a whole lot I can do. You have to burn the rope. I've tried that. Flames on my head just don't reach the rope. Keep trying, you're on fire! Joy. What are some fun facts about you that I don't already know? Interesting question. My favorite color is red. Same. I never tie my shoes. Not same. I hate playing dodgeball. Same. There's no point to it. Pigeons freak me out. Yeah, or whatever. And I'm allergic to daisies. I remember that came in handy very later. Just how allergic? Do you shake up, throw up, perk up, swell up, break up, wake up, grab a bunch of put on a little makeup? I just sneeze. That seems probably seems anticlimactic, but it's apparently pretty bad now. Before I got tied to the ceiling, I sneezed once and my whole body burst into flames. Spontaneous combustion. That's supposed to say combustion. From sneezing, the possibilities with that are endless. You know what the code for your cell door is? The code is five digits. Okay. The digits are one, two, three, four, and five, and not necessarily in that order. First digit plus the second digit is equal to the third digit. Okay. The second digit is two times the first digit. The second digit is half the fourth digit. And the fifth digit is some of the first and fourth digits. I'm not enjoying this game, Zach. Wait. One, two, three, four, and five. The first digit plus the second digit is equal to the third digit. One plus two is three. 
The second digit is two times the first digit. Two is one times two. The second digit is half the fourth digit. Two is half of four. And the fifth digit is the sum of first and fourth digits. One plus four is five. It's literally one, two, three, four, five. No, I did not want to click it again. There you go. Yep, the code is just a simple rising set of consecutive numbers. Out of curiosity, how could you have known what the code was? It was written on the side of the door. Bruh. F1. I can't do anything with that yet. That's where the ship is, I think. Hey, Smiley. Hey, Phil. Whoa, uh, hi, Smiley. I'm guessing you want to ask about my hair. Well, yes, seeing as you didn't have any hair just yesterday. So, why do you have hair? It's not like there's much to do when you're stuck in a little prison cell. So use the can of hairspray that's over there to pass the time. I'll admit, I'm a little, I'm a bit nervous about what people will think of me now that I have hair. I'm no fashion expert, but I say it looks nice. Well, thanks. You're welcome. But more importantly, you still need to get out of, we still need to get you out of this prison cell place. If you need anything from me, I guess I'll be here. Hey, Smiley. Uh... Do you know what the code for your door's dial pad is? 51333. Nice, how do you know that? The agent who locked me in here mumbled the code out loud to himself as he dialed it in. We'll see what I can do. Uh, first off, so nice and mine. Seize the day, go back to bed. The person who put that poster in this room has great taste. I like to visualize think this blob like creature with huge mouths and droopy pro bosses. I don't know. I can't with the ability to spray liquid that magically makes your hair grow quickly. I can't comprehend how people are able to invent and distribute whimsical goods like this. Who cla classic caffeine free diarrhea. No matter do drink companies should sell man made drinks. Smiley Sunday. Hi. Good day, sir. Salutations, young gentlemen. Of what subjects shall we speak on this fine day? Anything important in here? I don't think so. Get bent, monkey dude. You ain't got no power over me, punk. I do what I want to do. It's responsible for the trimming of your big toenails. Strangely, though, it may seem my toenails do not grow. My feet never feel any pressing discomfort with tennis shoes on. Fair enough. Someone of your intellect surely has a wondrous hobby. I'm fascinated by fancy hats. It's my dream to wear a hat that boldly proclaim, pro pro proclaims I am a fancy hat. Well, fancy pants proclaim run fast, run fancy. That sounds intriguing, too, but I'd still much prefer a fancy hat. Tally ho, chimp chap. I shall wish for your safety, good fellow. I wonder if there's a pinky toe, too. She used to live in my forest, but I think now she's one of Santa's elves. Cool. Let's go down to B1, I guess. I'm just searching through all the floors. It looks like the room next to this card reader is currently locked. The sunrise or sunset. I'm never too good at figuring these things out. Tell me, ask me, ask me if a glass of water sample are up empty. I just pushed the glass over. Bill, Fred, it's great, great to see that you got out of. Oh yeah, I have to do the voice. It's great to see that you got out of wherever you were. I haven't had the same luck with finding a way out of this dump. Dump is right. You really got the shaft of this room. I really think the people who put us in here just took a bathroom and added an extra wall. Anyways, I'd really love to get out of here, but I can't do that by myself. So. I'll get you out. We can make it a team effort. Yep, since there's a lot I can do behind a wall of extremely dense glass. Okay, so it'll be more like what children's television shows consider a team effort. Sounds like a party to me. That was a silly moment when you discover one part of a room is colder than the rest, and then and you don't realize you're standing under an air vent. Yeah. I was in a match store once and they were selling pillows filled with porcupine quills. Mirrors are used for many different purposes. I find the most practical used to be making faces. A urinal. A degrading system of publicly relieving oneself that has no reason to exist. Try our new deluxe poster glue. Advertising fail. Whistles make great sleeping pills. What? Oh, hi. Hi there. Hello. Uh, you got a nice blazer. Is that a pun? Yes. Uh, let's smoke second for it. It's so that hotheads won't come in and melt all the ice. I hate hotheads. That's some first class boxy right there. Looks like you don't have a whole lot of hair. I am very sensitive about my bareness. Well, 
It's not to be ashamed of. I don't have any hair myself. Well, that's a nice thing to say, but I don't need comfort. What I need is hair! Sorry. I just don't have fond memories when my hair was shaved off. I'd pay you a die I, that I found in a board game box and give her my hair back. Interesting trade. What board game? It's called Learning to Shave. Terrible game. What kind of creature are you? My friends call me Yeti. Also, I have no friends. Will you be my friend? I think friends come naturally. I just don't... I don't just make friends with anyone who asks. Be my friend! Whoa. Okay, then. And the other one, sorry. I clicked the wrong one. How are you today? I burn with the fury of 500 million suns. Do you want to talk about it? Actually, no. I'm perfectly content. Keep the point. You're polar and bipolar. Communicate with you later. Okay, so I've gotten almost nothing out of these exchanges. Hi. That's a hose. Why do I want this? I don't even know. Good day. Arf. Oh yeah, there's this. What do you want? Uh, anything important? Can I have your hat? Uh, no. My hat is the only comfort I have. Not to mention it covers my bald spot. How old are you? I turned 66,145,932 today. Wow, that's a lot of birthdays. Oh, but my birthday's white. Nobody ever celebrates them. On my birthday nine years ago, I was stolen and forced to live in this pathetic excuse for a lake. Well, happy birthday. Thanks. I'll be looking forward to spending the rest of my life in this dumb bathtub. Rumors have been floating around the air just a log. You know that photograph of me that's been blown out of proportion? The black and white one? It really is just a picture of a log. Communicate with you later. Beat it, bowling ball brain. Alright. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry to intrude. Sorry, you're an intruder. If only I was connected to an alarm system, I could end you right now. I don't mean to spread trouble. I'm actually trying to get out of it. Do you mind keeping your mouth open so I can enter the room you're guarding? My teeth could turn you into coleslaw before you could get through me. I'm not the only one who would like to come in, though. I plan to bring all my friends here, too. Your three human friends. The ones that are trapped. I'd like to see them even get here. That would be worth a laugh. Actually, I'd get majorly ticked off if that happened. Don't get any bright ideas. Too late. Okay. Hose. I don't remember what the hose is for. Was there anything else good that I missed? That's Fred. Or, that's Zack. Zack, would you like a hose? Or should I put the start of the hose? Put it on Zack. I think there's a better place to put this. Oh! Yeah. This... there. Now the goat guy's gonna get grass. Boom. Jesus, that happened quickly. Choco logs. Choco logs, they float in the bowl. That's gross. <laughs> he was on F2. Okay. Hey, go, guy. Om um, nom nom. Or, excuse me. Om um, nom nom, delicious green grass. Oh, yes. I'm gonna leave you alone now. Can I pick a daisy? A daisy? Daisy might be useful. I should go over there and pick it. Put one foot on this green grass and you'll feel the wrath of a thousand grabs. Okay, never mind. Can I get this one? This is the only flower I can stop and smell without stepping on the precious grass. Find out what tapioca is. Whoa, people here don't know what tapioca is? It's... Hmm, I don't know either. I don't, I don't know what tapioca is. Okay, Daisy. Oh, Zach. That's wrong floor. Oh, Zach. You like Daisy, my guy? Uh, uh, I have mixed feelings about that escape. Do I have to click and continue here? You're welcome. Oh, hey, would you mind following me for a while? Well, I would mind, but you're smart, so I'm sure there's a significant purpose to having me follow me. Significant. Great, glad you agree. But I'm afraid you can't enter any rooms with smoke detectors. I'll be content as long as I get to burn something. 
Alright, I have Zack now. What needed burning, though? I can't think of what needed burning. What does that say? There. Cool. I guess I'll talk to Messi again. Uh, anything I didn't say, I said that one, that one. How old are you? Where'd you used to live before you were put in here? I used to live somewhere that I could live, Mockmess Lake. This large lake, I found food on my own and observed the steady course of nature around me. Every day was interesting because of the countless tourists inspecting the area. Not to mention, I had a lot of friends in Mockmess, both in the lake bed and out of the water. I long to go back, but it's a lost hope and there's no lost found here. Well, not unless you count this puddle. I keep finding... I keep everything I can find here before it gets flushed away. Who knows, might be able to help you with sound there. Here's some card. There we go, there's the power card. Here's some card thing that an agent dropped one time while feeding me. It says power room on it. So I assume it opens a room with access to power. But if it's labeled, then you get crushed into a powder or run over by a mower, don't mind me. Right, I'll keep that in mind, I guess. Alright, I guess if there's nothing else. Power room must be one, right? Yeah. Boom. I'd play that if there's a game controller in this room. However, sadly, there's not. That'd be useful later. Bouncing lines, those are the worst ones. I just can't sit still waiting in a bouncing line. If you look at the word sphere for too long, you start wondering if it's spelled correctly. Error. Press any key to do nothing for you are screwed. Oh god, it's this puzzle. I remember this one. The pipeline system will not function unless the center pipe is that one. This is because we haven't called the nearest plumber. 555 pipe down. We need to buy a phone. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna be screwing at this till the end of time. I just know I am. Wait, no, that's... I need this one down. I need that one down there. That one right there. So close, man. Wait. Wait, no, I need this one here. Hey, I got it. Finally. Bye. Hi, have a wonderful time. Ow. Jesus. Oh, I'm so happy. That means I get his hat. His or her hat. And I can give it to Big Toe Guy. I'm not giving Sammy a message, dude. He could get flushed because it's an aquatic dinosaur. Rapidly tumbling through miles and miles of water filled pipes wouldn't be good for my health. One. Hey, Teddygo. Does this hat fit your taste? It is a nice hat. What do you need that? I find it not to be a fancy enough hat to wear. The hat needs to be fancier to tickle your fancy. Got it. Is there anything in F2? Oh yeah, that's go, dude. Can't bring anything in here. F3. Did that already. Oh, yeah, duh. I'm an idiot. Jesus. He flew out of here. Feathers. Big brain. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Buddy. There you go. Oh, you gave me a keypad. Thank you. Yes, sir. 
Thank you again for the lovely hat. I will be reminded of a kind gesture every time I vigorously do the tango. This conversation just ended. This was Smiley. Who needed a keypad, then? Was it Fred? Oh, you're missing a keypad. There you go, buddy. It's Fred, yep. You know what the call for your door's dial pad is? Snoz. What? That's my line. I'm pretty sure the password is Snoz, but it can't be Snoz, it's only numbers. Really? I guess this paper bomb is useless. I'm not joking, though. Here, maybe it means something to you. Doesn't look like anything, so no. Five... Five one seven oh two. Wait, hold on. I want to see the thing first. And Rainbow and us just using butterfly stickification of the sun. I saw a sentient daffodil was allergic to itself and uses molten muscles to cook. I saw Saturn's ring up close and through an everlasting spiral staircase that spits up stardust. I saw a kumquat give birth to a speeding ticket shaped like a constipated gopher. Shoot, I'm never gonna win this game. Five one seven oh two. Cool, now what? Zack is waiting for us on the bottom floor of this building. Awesome. Oh yeah, awesome. So, how do we get there? Just go out the door and there will be an elevator in plain sight. How do I go there? I'll tell you if I can't find it. Okay. Where was Smiley? Oh yeah, Smiley was... The F1? Yeah. Oh, this is new. Could I have your hairspray? Are you planning on growing hair? Uh, no. I like being bald. I just think the hairspray helps escape. Also, don't think I noticed that you put commas instead of periods. If you could hand it to me through a slot in the cell door, that'd be great. Interesting. Okay, here you go. Oh, I just realized I could go give him the uh, the I could go give him hair, and then he'll give me the dye, and I can type five one three three because the three is gone here. I can literally see the three is gone. Alright. B1? Yep. Here. Take him, buddy. Hey, now it looks like the ball will be man. Thank you, bro. Hi there. Hi. You enjoying having hair? Hair is the single greatest thing that's ever happened to the universe. I'll take that as a yes. Alright. F1. There you go. Boom. Thanks. What's next? I think it would be a good idea to get everyone to gather at the lowest point in this building. Gotcha. I'll be right down. We ended up screwing later after the game. Alright, now we go to the guard door. My friends seem to all have accidentally stumbled out of their heavily secured confinement cells. We are hoping to have a picnic in the room behind you. Care to let us in? Wait. All of you escaped. Seriously. Error. Percent. Hashtag. Or pound sign. Exclamation point. Zero, zero, one. That is something I cannot comprehend. Error. Percent. Pound. Exclamation mark. Zero, zero, two. I wish you all a happy new year. Error percent pound exclamation mark zero zero three. Oh god. Zero 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 one zero zero one one zero one 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 zero 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 one one zero 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 one one zero 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 one zero zero one zero zero one 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 Error percent sign pound exclamation mark zero zero four Run greater than symbol psychotic underscore frenzy dot exe. Berserker. I don't think I possess the agility necessary to dive through those chomping teeth. That's where I go turn them off, right? There we go. I had it several times.
Alrighty, let's go. Game saved. My lips are so chapped, I hate it. Mind reading? Huh. Call it a long shot, but I think this machine might be reading Diz's mind. It looks like it's retreating data guarding vision. Kind of a drastic method to gain information about a dead project. Ooh, he looks cool. Vision was a scheme concocted by the psychotic alien dictator Viz. He started this project to essentially destroy the whole universe. I guess Frozone found his super suit. Planet Earth would be destroyed had I not found a way to stop the maniac. Viz got a taste his own poison, and the project Vision died with him. I wonder if the researchers of Zone 5.1 realize this. No matter. I can't hear to free Diz. And then this journey through injustice will all be a pleasant memory. Ooh. Vision and Invis was defeated, so why are there plans here from a dead program? That's a picture of the Vision ship we rode in before we ended up here. Okay, I'm not gonna bother to read all this. This music's bopping. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna reset all this. Seven minus zero... Seven? Six. Six... Zero. There we go. Oh god. I'm gonna be screwing around with this at the end of time, aren't I?
Oh my god. Dude, I was screwing around with that for so long. Jesus. Okay, last one. Alright. Dude, I was screwing around with this one for, like, what seemed like 10 minutes before I finally found an answer. Alright. Well, it looks like everyone is here and accounted for. And everything at that. I still have the remote for the ship. Now, Marvelous Hero, lead the way. Our freedom awaits us. Oh no. Diz, wait up. I'm sorry, but there is no time. You left, find another exit. What? We did all that to save him. This way. Bruh. Oh. The sewers. Damn. What, that's the end? End of part one. You beat the game in 2,074 seconds. Oh, this is all the music. Puffballs United. I hope none of this gets copyrighted. Special features. Oh my god, skip. I want to see what the special features are. This is a basic overview of the thoughts. Frequently asked riddle school questions. When is Riddle School 6 coming out? Never. Why don't you make a Riddle School 6? I like the way Riddle School 5 ended the series. It was meant to tie the other parts together. Can I make Riddle School 6? Surprisingly, quite a few different people asked this question. I've told them all sure, and the only game entitled Riddle School 6 has been submitted. New Grounds is bland. That made me laugh, because I'm pretty sure it was a spam submission. Please make another Riddle School for serious submission. This usually would in any case. The answer turned out to be yes. Pretty combined items. Action script. coming out A. I answered this one already. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I may do two if you guys like this one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, hit that bell notification for my uploads. Be sure to do the same thing for all my friends' channels. Team 84, Publisher Productions, Team 13, whatever you think. Team 84, I meant to say. Team 13 doesn't exist anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more. Peace out, everybody.